So one thing that's really important as a builder is to really understand the importance of that electrical walk. And what we mean by that, there are so many specifications in each build. Now with every project that we're doing, and it doesn't matter if it's modern, traditional, we have trim details, ceiling treatments, beams, right? You have appliances, you have furniture, all these elements that play into the home, and including backsplashes, right? As we're looking at backsplashes in the kitchen. But sometimes with a very detailed tile layout in the bathroom or maybe the backsplash in the kitchen, you don't want to see that outlet. So one thing we do is the electrical pre-walk. This is one of the most important parts of the construction process and really saves a lot of time and money. So what we recommend is as a builder, that what we'll come through is we'll box the house. And what that means is, so we're going to come in and we're going to put all the switch boxes where they're going to go, all the outlet boxes, you know, low voltage, TV areas, and that all gets mounted. It's pretty quick for them, right? Measure that up, put it in, move on to the next one. Now, we do that before we actually start pulling wire and rope in the house. And the reason being is that now we can schedule a walkthrough with sometimes our architect, but always the designer and the client. Now, the reason we have to design their client because they may have a different option using their home where they wanna turn on the switch as they're walking in, right? Everything's designed for plan, but they may have their own personal opinion. Designer may say, Brad, I don't wanna see outlets in the kitchen. We need to move those, which we did at Modern Sunset. Or in this case, you can see specifically this was an ad. So we're here in the ceiling treatment, and you can see here we have this little piece of trim that's cut at a 45 degree angle that's installed here. This is what's gonna create a light box in here. So in this coffered ceiling, you can see that we have this drop down ceiling right here, and we have this gap. So this gives drywall the top, back is drywall then over. Now we can install our, install our LED tape here in this little light cove, and what's gonna happen is that 45 degree angle put our light tape so you can't see it anywhere down below. It's gonna give nice, clean, consistent light, and it's gonna push off with that 45 degree angle out into this cove, which really acts as this entire space. Now you're gonna see this, we have these light coves all throughout the house. We have it over here in the dining room, we have it in the owner's suite, and other areas in the home. And so what ends up happening is, as all the ceiling details are done, the trim's completed, and you have this light box that gets some really neat detail into the house. Additionally, as we're doing the, you know, the, the box walk, one thing that comes into play are the, the layout for the ceiling fixtures, as well as all of the can lights. Now we may have an idea of what the ceiling fixtures are. The reason being is that weight comes into play. Sometimes our designs may have a hundred pound chandelier. Sometimes light fixtures are even heavier, right? And so when you're thinking about that and maybe they have a smart toilet, we have to plan for that. We have to have backing in some of these light fixture locations for pennants and chandeliers. We have to understand when the sconces are going to be installed. Again, outlets there for the smart toilets. So all these little things come up at the electrical walk. But what we do, because it does take a lot of time to install can lights. Anyone that's put in low voltage lights, can lights all throughout the build, there's a lot of coordination as they either laser or straight line all those cans and put them in. So what we do is on the floor, we'll go through and we'll mark on the floor. So at the, at the box walk, we're putting up all the boxes on the walls because that's easy. And then we're marking on the floor where all the fixtures go and all the can lights. Now that helps us because we can lay out any ceiling treatments, understand if we have to move any, and then we can finalize that ceiling design, make sure that acoustical ceiling design is forecasting where all these cans go. And then when we release and sign off for electrician, they can go and install it one time, be done. Everything's been signed off, approved by all parties. We can rope the house and then move very quickly. So a little bit of time in the pre-construction planning process, but again, it pays huge dividends when you go to actually do the build and you're not having to make any changes later. Mm -hmm.